Hello everybody, today should be nice sunny day, so in this video I am going to try to find use for this old solar panel. This is quite old solar panel, which is also repaired, but you don't want to use something like this in any solar system installation, as because of this one solar panel, whole system will have less power output. This is first part video, there will be another video for second part. So question is, do I throw this panel away or it is any good for something? First I need to clean it and then I am going to do a few tests. My plan is to use it for heating, but I am not going to use any kind of solar inverter. The problem with solar inverters wow. are that inverters are quite expensive and if I count power output for this solar panel for about 100 to 180 watts, there is no way that investment to this inverter for one solar panel is ever going to return. It only makes sense for me if components for heating will be as cheap as possible, basically for free, and I think that I can do it from some components that I have at home laying around, some, from so, some computer scrap, and I think that many people have some heating elements or ventilators at home anyway. So, when it was new it was 240 watts, open voltage 37 volts and 0.4 amps and rated operated voltage 29 volts and 8 amps. I am counting that it should give me at least about 150 to 180 watts of power because it's old and also damaged. I was repairing this one. Now, my plan is easy. I am going to try to make a simple heater from this solar panel and I am going to use these lights and in addition I will use these fans because I have got quite a lot of these fans they are basic fans from computer or from something there is a lot of fans everywhere these one are 12 volt uh, 0.42 amp so I have this solar panel and I, by the way I am not worried about voltage because there is only 40 volts so it's quite safe it's not going to hurt me it's not going to elect electrify me i can put fingers it's not going to do anything to me so now it's not full sun there are some clouds so i have 43 volts it will be but it, this is open voltage so it will be much lower and i don't know how many amps maybe six amps or something like that five five to six amps so my plan is that I don't want to use any sort of inverters because inverters are quite expensive and I basically don't need it because as you know these light bulbs are basically heating elements by itself. The main problem with these lights was that they were quite hot yeah as you can see here in the ceiling they were lighting and they're getting quite hot so this heat from these light bulbs i want to use uh, from this solar panel so i'm going to build some custom heating element for solar panel and i will see if it will work or not first i'm going to try uh, these fans on open voltage because if they will be able to move or not these are 12 volts so i am going to use three of them because if you connect them to series you have 36 volts it should be good for open voltage of the solar panel they should move i am not doing proper connections this is just for test so for now it is okay so i have plus and minus and i am not worried too much about this one solar panel because there is not too much power nothing strong and i can touch it with my and no problem. Now I have 32 volts and about 5 to 6 amps of power. So I'm going to connect these ventilators to the series. And now the moment of true. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Voltage is not dropping that much. I don't know why they are doing this. They have some electronics, so I don't know. It is quite interesting that. Okay, now I'm going to connect just two pieces. Oh, 
Wow! So as you can hear and see, they are on full power because they are only 12 volts and so it is 24 volts and there is 42 volts. So they are going on full power. When I will connect uh, light bulbs, voltage will drop. Or maybe I can use all three of them. Yeah, I quite like it. It is quite interesting that it's stopping this, then this, then that. I don't know why, but it's interesting. I'm not doing anything, there is no clouds. Now I'm going to check each light bulb, if it is working or not, and I'm going to measure uh, resistance of each, each light bulb. Now I'm going to ask AI. Hey, you! What's up, man? So, I've asked. Uh, I have power source of 30 volts and 6 amps. What resistance of heating element should be used to use all the power from my source? So, answer is resistance of heating element should be 5 ohms. This is because power of heating elements is equal to voltage multiplied by, by current. That's uh, correct. And with 30 volts and 6 amps, there will be 180. Where is this? Yeah, 180 watts. The resistance of heating elements is equal to the voltage divided blah 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 and it's 5 ohms. And I'm going to check it with this ohms loss calculator and I'm going to adding voltage of 30 volts, current 6 amps and power and resistance should be calculated. So, current resistance is 5 ohms and it will give me 180 watts of power if I will change it to the 5 amps, so I will use 6 ohms, 4 amps, 7.5, and, and if there will be a little bit more amps, for example 7, it will be 4.2. So I need to use about 5 to 6 ohms of uh, resistance to this uh, on these light bulbs. So I tested few configurations and took measurements and I very quickly realized that light bulbs are not very good for this kind of tests. This is because I quickly burned few light bulbs due to too much power going into them from solar panel. Anyway, I managed to take few measurements and I was very confused as it was not making any sense. So I wrote them down and then it started to make sense. As I was connecting light bulbs in series or parallel, there was always different resistance and because of that different voltage drop and because of that another power output. And this was not making sense because light bulbs are not very precise. This is why people use MPPT solar inverters with uh, solar panels, because these inverters are basically tracking maximum power point. And when I starting to think about this, it makes sense because with my setup there was no MPPT tracking and it was basically not very precise. As you can see, I am not an expert and I am learning as I am doing these experiments. And this is the end of this video. In second video will be second part of this experiment and I am going to continue with power resistors and I am going to change little bit setup and make few improvements to make it better. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel and in few days there will be another video. Have a nice day!